Before we get into the DIY, I just wanted to say this is part of a collaboration. So after you're done with my video, make sure to check the description box for the playlist. So for the collaboration, we were asked to create something using wood scraps. So I have these backings from photo frames from a previous DIY that I have used. Now, of course, you can get these from dollar stores or from Poundland. So you're going to begin by removing these and these clips. Okay, so as you saw, you might need some pliers for some. And let me just see how many of these you need. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you need six in total. And I'm actually going to save all these little bits because as a crafter, you never know when they'll come in handy. So the next thing you're going to want to do is, you see we've got these two holes here. Of course, that doesn't look very nice. So you're going to just sand them down basically, so that we have something a lot smoother like this. Once you've done that the next step is to glue all of these together so you're going to need a combination of E6000 and hot glue you're going to place one on the bottom and then we're going to have two stick together on either side like this Then you're going to take one more and stick that on the top and then you're going to create a little roof by sticking these two like this. Okay, so once you've got that all ready, see how I've got a bit of glue that's coming out? If you do have any little bits like that, then you can just sand that off and make sure it's all neat. The next thing we're going to do is spray paint it black. So I am back from spray painting, unfortunately. I ran out of spray paint and I don't have any more. I'm hoping I can get away with it because we're going to go in with some white acrylic to distress it and I'm hoping it just won't really show. Now while that dries, we're going to move on to something else, just to make use of the time. You're going to need these tumble tower blocks, and we're going to stick them together again using a combination of E6000 and hot glue, but hot glue should be strong enough just for this. Then you're going to take your block and you can use stamps for example. I have these wooden letters so that's what I'm going to use and you can write blessed home or sweet home, anything you like. Then you're going to just place your block inside the roof. And then I have this watering can, it was a thrifted item, so I'm going to hot glue that inside in the corner.
Then I'm going to take this succulent and place it just underneath the watering can. To fill the gaps here, I've got some artificial plants. I've just snipped these up so that we can fit those in the corner there. And this is another bit of greenery that I'm going to add so that it covers the corner and goes on top of our block. This is a finished DIY, let me know what you think in the comments below, leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, I hope that you have enjoyed, take care of yourselves and I'll catch you in the next video, bye for now.